Are you tired of taking blurry pictures? Well, here's three tips to better camera technique. What's up everyone, my name is Sal Sincata and today I'm gonna to share with you three tips to taking sharper images. Look, we have all been there. I've been doing this for 15 years uh, and so I've learned a thing or two when it comes to technique. So I'm gonna share these three things with you. There's a host of other issues it can be but a lot of you, I've watched you, uh, your technique is and we've gotta fix that technique. So let me share with you tip number one, back button focus, stop back button focusing. It is one of the worst things you can do. It's a very old school technique. Uh, back in the day when these cameras would have a single focus point, a lot of photographers would back button focus, especially photojournalists. It was a great technique for them to get locked in and then wait for the action to come in because they knew their focus was there. But here's the problem. When you back, if you're a wedding photographer or there's any type of motion, if you back button focus, right? And then fire through the front, Back button fire, back button fire. Now, of course, I'm exaggerating this movement, but it's two separate movements. Imagine if a marksman in the military firing a rifle. I don't know why we're talking about rifles right now, but the technique is kind of the same. Uh, imagine if they had to have two separate actions to fire the rifle. They'd be as inconsistent as humanly possible, which is what's happening to you in some of your images, especially at slower shutter speeds. And so what you wanna be able to do, of course your technique, you wanna have your hand under the camera. That's not even a technique, it's a bonus technique I just gave you, it's a bonus, bonus. Um, you're gonna back button, focus. Again, I'm exaggerating this motion. And then when I'm ready to fire, I'm gonna end up pressing down. And just that little bit of sway in the camera is going to create blurry images for you. Again, especially at slower shutter speeds. So I like single button focus and fire. Look at that, I mean, it's just, it's music. Hear that? Hear that? It's beautiful. Boom, no motion on the camera. Fire, lock, fire, lock, fire, lock, fire. Okay, now, with these new cameras, they have servo mode, okay? And if you don't know what that is, you need to look at your manual. Who uses a camera without looking at the manual? Servo mode is going to track your subject moving through. Yet another reason you don't want any delay from Finding the focus to firing, just that delay, even if your camera doesn't move, there's a delay there, there's motion there, it's gonna be blurry. So you want to have this single button, fire focus, fire focus. Okay, that's tip number one. Tip number two, stop fighting physics. Focus recompose. One of the worst techniques I have seen professional and amateur photographers alike use. And what do I mean by that? Look, we get beat over the head with composition, don't we? Composition, composition, put them in the third, rule of thirds, right? Um, what's the spirally thing? Does anybody know? What is that one? I don't even know. Rule of thirds and then the spiral thing, whatever that is. I feel like I'm drawing it on the camera. Doesn't matter. My point is when it comes to composition, right? We like to focus, recompose, meaning bullseye focus, they're right in the middle and then recompose to put them in the third. This action is defying physics. All our lenses, I know you're not gonna be able to see it there, but they're all, go grab your lens, grab your camera. They are curved. They are curved by nature. So when you, and on a wide angle lens, it gets even worse. If you take blurry pictures and you focus recompose, I'm telling you, change that, it'll change your life. Focus, right, and recompose, you're now moving, the, even though it's subtle, you're moving them to the edge of the glass, which is already softer. Manufacturers will tell you that they're softer on the edge. You're moving them to the edge and it's that little eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch that is gonna make them softer. And if you shoot at shallow depths of field, two eight, one two, one eight, right? You know that that focus point is, their eye will be in focus, right? And then this is completely soft, right? Or their nostrils in focus. I don't know why you would take a picture of a nostril, but then their eye is blurry. Eyelashes are in focus, the eyeball is blurry. You know what I'm talking about. Now imagine when you're moving that lens to focus, recompose, your body is shifting, your plane is moving, um, and it's going to create a soft image. I promise you, these cameras today have hundreds and hundreds of focus points built into them. Don't be lazy, move your focus point, right? So activate your focus point, every camera does this today, and move that focus point and put that focus point right on their eye 
first focus recompose and I promise you, you're gonna take sharper images. All right, tip number three, your stance matters. Look, I know we keep talking about snipers. I don't know why we're talking about snipers, but your stance is very important. I think there's a lot of similarities to crafting the perfect shot, both on a camera and crafting the perfect shot military style, okay? But here's the deal. Of course, breathing technique and your stance matter. Some of the stances I see from photographers are mind boggling to me. You have no balance. Your weight is going to be shifting all over the place uh, and you're, you don't, that camera's out in front of you and even that little bit of sway and that movement is going to shift your depth of field. Now, add to that, focus recompose, add to that, back button focus, you're a mess. If you have soft images, I promise you, making these three changes are going to change the game for you. All right, so think about this. What you wanna do is take more of a composed stance, your elbows in. You don't want your elbows out. There's no support with your elbows out here. Your elbows should be in here. You should be a little bit sideways and you should be controlling that shot. Your body should become that tripod. And when you do that, you are gonna get tack shark images. Look, I'm telling you, these techniques have worked for me. They've helped me be a better photographer. I hope they help you guys out. Let me know in the comments what you think uh, about this. So uh, I want you to take sharp pictures. Nobody wants to take blurry pictures. You blow that big on the wall, they're gonna look like crap. Nobody wants big crappy images on their wall. So if you enjoy this video, wanna see more of it, give us a subscribe, like button down below, and uh, sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think.